Hello everyone. Well, you're joining me at the time of making this video on a very bright, sunny, but extremely cold winter's day. And today I'm going to be keeping in the warm and unboxing this German-made Kascha or Kascha vacuum cleaner. This is, I believe, a VC6 model. Not really officially available, I don't think, in the UK because I've had a sneak peek at this and it's got one of those two-pin euro plugs but um, i've always liked the design of this so when i saw one on ebay i snapped it up at least 12 years ago i used to own the top model of this machine it wasn't in the familiar kasha yellow it was sort of a bronzy color looked very smart and it had a remote control it also had i think a 2300 watt motor so it's obviously pre-eu regulations but I needed the money at the time, so I sold it. So you can still buy this particular model with a remote handle, but it's a lot more money than I paid, about double what I paid for this. So I thought I'm not going to bother. So I've taken a sneak peek and it was a little bit faulty when I tried it initially, but it was very, very cold. And I'm wondering if that had any effect. It did start to work. So <laughs> fingers crossed it will work in this video. Here's the instruction book, absolutely thick instruction book here. Whoops, lots of instructions actually. <laughs> I won't need to look at those. Obviously this is sold in many different countries so it's got 20 odd different uh, languages. Here is the uh, hose. Now this is made in Germany. So it does feel quite good quality. That's the handle. There is a little uh, button to release the accessories. Just feeling about, but I can't detect any sort of suction control on the handle. But there is an electronic dial on the machine itself. And I think this is slightly tapered, the hose. Let's just take this piece of cardboard off. Yes, it's slightly thicker at the cleaner end than it is at the handle end. Not very much different, but it is slightly different. Here's the main carpet and floor nozzle, which uh, looks to be a pretty good quality. I didn't uh, have my scissors. Right, I'll try my box cutter. I would assume that this is a Wieselweg nozzle looking for that familiar brand logo of that particular German vacuum cleaner nozzle manufacturer. Can't see it, but it's, I think the last cleaner I've seen with a nozzle very similar to this was a Sibo. It is very reminiscent. So it's a good quality carpet and floor nozzle. Of course, plastic based as most of them are now. Two litter pickers and the floor brush extends nearly the full circumference of the nozzle with a tiny gap for edge cleaning. So, yep, good solid nozzle, nice big wheels on it as well. They've included an adapter so I can plug this into my uh, UK three pin socket. So next out is telescopic extension wand. Again, feels very good quality. Nice smooth action there. Very good. So there's the wand and it extends to quite a nice length as well. It's not too short. And finally, we have the cleaner itself. Here it is. Okay, let's take a closer look at this rather unusual Kasha VC6. So here it is. I do like the styling of this machine. It's a little bit different to a conventional canister or cylinder vacuum cleaner. It's, it's sort of reminiscent of a Hoover Constellation, but of course this one doesn't float on air. This has swivel casters on the underside and as you can see one two three four five swivel casters <laughs> 
And as I've just moved this, I can see little bits of green sand from a previous demonstration that's sticking to the wheels. So this carpet isn't as clean as it should be. It's quite a low wattage motor on this one because it's of course under the EU guidelines. So it's only 600 watts. And spoiler alert, I, when I first initially turned this on, the suction seemed quite mediocre, but I've got my suction gauge and we can see how much this 600 watt motor produces in terms of suction. And just from experience of trying the suction, it seemed to be less than a pneumatic Henry, which is uh, I think around 580 watts now, the Henry. But anyway, here it is. What I like about this, apart from it's got multi-directional casters this also rotates independently it'd be hard for me to show you there you go so basically what this is supposed to do as you're pulling the machine along going about your daily cleaning if you come across a piece of furniture or door frame it's designed just to change direction and move away so it doesn't get caught on uh, on anything. That's the theory anyway. It is a bagged vacuum cleaner. There is a, a bag check piston type indicator there. And the bag is located inside here. To release the bag, there's this little gray button. You pull the bag out. Well, you're supposed to pull the bag out, I think, as it's, it should self seal. Hmm. You're supposed to pull the bag out by this part and then, as you can see, when you remove the bag, it seals all the dirt inside. You can buy bags in this country. In fact, I bought a spare packet of bags and the bags do come with a pre-motor filter. So I think when you've used five dust bags, you're supposed to change the filter that comes with the packet of bags. I shouldn't have done that because it's hard to open up once you've... Uh... I'll do that off camera. <laughs> So here's the bag compartment, pre-motor filter is under this grill. It's a while since I've had one of these, so I'm not sure if it just pulls up. Doesn't want to come out. Anyway, I'll leave it for now. You'll have to take my word for it. There is a filter just behind there. And basically that's all there is to see. Now if I try and use it without a bag, oh, I can. <laughs> it will close without the dust bag in place. So that's a bit uh, strange. Normally they would have a little, well, I suppose, but it's easy enough to push that in. Well, that might have been a bit of a fluke, but you can do it, you can do it. If you want to ruin your vacuum cleaner and not put a bag in it, it is possible. Okay, I've fixed the bag. So that just goes in this way. You just slot it into the holder there until it's fully home. And then this little piece, you just push it until that gray button clips up at the top there. Make sure there's no bits of the bag over the side of the compartment. And then you can close the bag door. At the front here, or at the back in fact, we have the cord rewind so as you can see it's got the old two pin German or Euro plug quite a nice um, quality cable so that rewinds into there we've also got the parking bracket on the back so we can park the machine let me just pop the old uh, nozzle on there we go so if you want to park the nozzle it parks at the back there you want to pause your vacuuming so this is the front of the cleaner where we've got of course the hose inlet we've got the on off switch and a big clunky dial I suppose you could operate that with your foot maximum and minimum suction settings there well I think that's about all I can show you on the cleaner oh no it's not there's one other feature on the cleaner that's uh, pretty cool what I'll do first though is attach the hose. That's it, that's in place and the hose does swivel. Oh, it seems to be quite a nice long hose. The hose swivels at the cleaner end and it also swivels at the handle end. You can also take the handle off by pressing on these two gray buttons if you get a blockage in the handle, but it's, it's a pretty smooth, there's no sharp angular 
uh, angles. <laughs> so that's pretty good. So I haven't shown you all the other cleaning tools because this does come with three other tools and they're inside this little compartment here. So the three small cleaning tools are stored behind this flap here. So we just open the flap to access one of the three tools. Now, normally you'd expect just to take one of the tools out with your hand and then put it onto the end of the handle, but no, not with this machine. What you do with this, you take the handle and select the tool you want, pop the handle into the tool while it's in the cleaner and then you just pull it out. I think that's pretty smart and I've never seen another vacuum that's got that feature. So randomly I've pulled out the quite short crevice tool but this crevice tool does extend a little bit to become a sort of a medium length crevice tool. So when you're finished using that for your nooks and crannies, I think we have to collapse it or do we? It won't collapse on its own. So perhaps it'll just collapse when I put it back. Let's try it, shall we, folks? Or maybe I have to squeeze it. I don't know, we'll see what happens. No, you do have to collapse it. Oh, there we go, that's it. So collapse it first, folks, then put it back in the cleaner and then pull out the handle. Isn't that, that's pretty cool, I think. And again, it's got the upholstery nozzle, so if I want to clean my upholstery or stairs, there you go. You don't even have to touch the nozzles. That's quite a nice looking upholstery nozzle with dual litter pickers. Yeah, side suction channels as well. So once I've finished with my upholstery or my curtains or stairs, pop the nozzle back in, pull out the handle. And finally, we got this dusting brush. That's nice and soft, but very, very short brushes. It's not adjustable, you can't adjust the angle, so that is an odd angle for cleaning some things. It's very, very flat, but it's probably designed this way so it fits in. But again, dust your shelving, you could dust your lampshades and things with that. And then pop it back into the cleaner. Well, it, it was easy. <laughs> Pop it back into the cleaner, there we go, and pull it out. So I think that is a pretty good idea to save you having to look for the tools. They're all on board. You don't really have to bend very far either to change the tools on this machine. Finally, on the cleaner itself, behind this flap, we've got the HEPA filter. This doesn't claim to be washable. Cars should say uh, change it once a year. And the same with the pre-motor filter, they don't say that's washable. But as I said, the pre-motor filter does come with a pack of bags, so you can easily change that. So this does feel like one of the more papery type filters. So I think if you try wash that, it might disintegrate. So once a year with regular use, you need to change the HEPA exhaust filter. That fits into there. There we go. There's also a little black diffuser on the underside of the grill. So there we go. Okay, well, fingers crossed this works because it, it was a bit temperamental when I uh, initially tried this machine, but it did work in the end. There was something wrong with the switch. It just wasn't staying on. So I thought I'd better unbox it properly now and try it out for a bit longer because I might have to return this. So out comes the cable. Uh, that's it. We'll plug it into the adapter supplied. There we are. That's it. Okay. I'm not sure if it's going to turn on, folks. It might do. Well, it seems to work and it's quite a nice sounding motor. Let's just try again. A 
nice sounding vacuum and it does feel to be a well-made vacuum cleaner. Obviously it's made in Germany. Not all Karsha or Kersha products are made in Germany. Some I've had in the past have been made in Italy and other places, but this is a German made one. So it does match their pressure washers. Don't confuse this, of course, with your pressure washer. So, yeah, it seems fine and dandy. Let's just do the old suction test. Because as I say, it does feel a little bit on the mediocre side for suction. Just gonna use the gauge just to give us a rough idea of the suction power at the hose end. I'm not sure if this has got a suction relief valve, which of course will reduce the suction when it detects a drop in airflow. Okay, let's see on max power what this uh, cleaner will measure. Um, I'm thinking probably over 60, but not much over that. Let's see. Well, that's more powerful than I expected. The gauge peaked at around 80, which is very good for a 600 watt vacuum cleaner. Now, I couldn't detect any suction relief valve mechanism operating when I blocked the hose end. Normally, with a cleaner fitted with a suction relief valve, if you block the hose end or if the bag or filter is clogged or full, then you'd expect the suction relief valve to open to allow air to flow through the machine to prevent the motor from overheating. Because when a vacuum cleaner motor is on, if the airflow is restricted, it tends to run faster because there's no resistance to the air, but you need the air to flow through to keep the vacuum cleaner motor cool. And I did detect, I didn't block the end for long, but I started smelling burning, so I didn't do it for long. But under normal use, if you keep the bag emptied, you don't use the machine blocked, it should be fine. Okay, well, that is pretty good, suction-wise. Let's see how well this head performs. Now, it's on a plush carpet. Vacuum cleaners don't like my living room carpet and the uh, suction heads similar to this do tend to stick unless you reduce the suction level. So at the moment, I've got it on hard floor, so I'll pop it onto the carpet setting. I think this might be quite good because it's got big wheels at the back. I'll try it first on maximum, but I've, I think it could be hard to push. So we'll just attach. It's a nice click fit. It's a little bit loose though in the uh, in the wand, so we can adjust the height of the wand. Right, I'll give it a bit of a push on my carpet. <laughs> Very, very hard to push on the maximum suction. I've moved it down to about halfway now. That is easier. But still, quite an effort. I'm having to use both hands to push the nozzle. Yeah, Whew. well, the gyms are all closed at the moment, so if you want to work out, get one of these. But really, these types of machine, suction only, cylinder or canister type vacuums, are more popular on the continent than they are in the UK. In the UK, because we live in a fairly cold country most of the year, we like our fitted carpets to give our rooms a bit of warmth, and sound absorption, etc. But in continental Europe, especially, they have more hard flooring, especially places like Spain, Portugal, where they'd have mainly tiled floors throughout the house and the odd rug. So for houses like that, this machine would be fine, even with this nozzle. But for houses with all fitted carpets, maybe just a, a floor in the kitchen and bathroom, not so good. I'm sure you can get a turbo nozzle to fit this, um, which would make it a lot easier to push, but I expect the turbo nozzle, the proper turbo nozzle to fit this machine would be quite expensive. And because it's a unusual type of connection, 
I'm not sure if a regular 32mm, it might, it seems a bit narrower than a 32mm that. What I've noticed though, and it's a while since I, well it's over a week since I did a mess test on this part of the carpet and um, I'm not sure if you can see but there is bits of green and red sand or glitter that's uh, look at you can see it there and I've gone over this carpet a lot um, the time I'm making this video I've been using my Dyson V11 outsize on this uh, carpet and all around the house and I've even used it on the auto setting so the higher suction it does work on this carpet on auto but only in one direction so I have to pull it back switch it off push it switch it on pull it back that's the only way the V11 will work on this particular carpet it's fine for the rest of my house but not this plusher pile so there's still obviously I'm gonna to have to get one of those old-fashioned Hoover uprights with the beats as it sweeps as it cleans action to give this a more thorough clean it's still finding dirt every demonstration I'm doing but yeah I do like this machine I would have preferred to have had the top model with the remote handle I think the remote handle on these are the type that uses the battery so they don't don't have the wires through the hose like the older cleaners from the sort of 80s and 90s used to have the current carrying conductors all the way through the hose which made the hoses less flexible and heavy this is a regular hose so um, it would have had a receiver somewhere on the main machine from what I remember of the cleaner I had before uh, which was the higher wattage one from several years ago I haven't been able to find one of those so I thought well this is the next best thing I don't much care for the color I'd prefer to have the more classy sort of um, bronzy sort of browny goldy color of the original top of the range model but it's still the same basic machine and even at only 600 watts you know I'm pretty pleased with the suction so I'm pleased to have one of these again pleased to be able to show you and I do like I do like that that is very good so I'm going to use actually this uh, nozzle I'll turn the suction down to minimum I'm going to use this nozzle to clean up <laughs> the carpet and floor nozzle so it's very quiet on minimum I don't mm, this nozzle's not very good the brushes are a bit short so there's a lot of plastic against plastic I'm feeling here yeah but all in all I do like it this is the best best feature that is just like I don't know it, it is I know it's a simple thing but it really makes changing the tools a doddle no bending I'm stooping a bit but you know I think that's a clever idea. What do you think, folks? Once you get the knack of doing it, it is simple. I'm wondering if I can do it with the uh, extension wand attached, because of course I might want to reach up high to clean any cobwebs. Should be able to. Yep. Yeah. So I can do it. So now with the crevice tool attached, I can go around the edges of my room, down the side of my sofa, get those biscuit crumbs up, or reach up into the corner of the room, up on the ceiling to get those cobwebs. But yeah, I think it's a little bit more awkward. Yeah. Oh, look, it's making a fool of me now. That should, unless, no, it should come out. I don't oh ah no folks right it's easy enough to attach the nozzle with the extension wand but once the nozzle's in it is locked into place until you press this button so you can't actually put it back as easy you still have to lean down press the button to release it which is odd really because it seems to work hmm Hang on, it should work the same, shouldn't it? 
sure maybe it's just me. It's definitely easier to do it like this. I tend to use the small tools directly onto the hose end anyway. So when I clean my stairs with this machine, this is how I'd use it. I wouldn't use the extension wand. Now, speaking of stairs, obviously, this cleaner is too big to stand on a standard stair. So you would have to carry it with one hand. It's not ultra lightweight. It's not the heaviest cleaner, but it's fairly compact. You know, and because it's because of the shape of it, it's not a long vacuum cleaner. It's it's easy enough for me anyway to hold, so I can clean my stairs. But it will go up. I would say. Well, I'll just check how many how many stairs it will actually go up before you have to carry the machine. So, yes, this will reach up to eight stairs on a standard flight of stairs. So for the rest, I would have to carry the machine or carefully place it at the top of the stairs and clean the remainder. But that's the same with many vacuum cleaners, especially many cylinder cleaners. You can get some upright machines with the hose attached that will stretch up, but they're quite uh, hard to clean stairs with an upright with a stretchable hose because the suction makes you makes the hose retract a lot. So, you know, it is what it is. If you've got a lovely apartment with no stairs and mainly bare floors, some soft furnishings, a few knickknacks to dust, then this would probably be a very nice machine if you want something that's made in Germany. And of course, takes dust bags, which are, in my opinion, the most hygienic way of disposing of dust and dirt in your home rather than emptying a bagless machine. There's, there's a place for both bagged and bagless, corded and cordless. But my preference, as I've said many times, has always been for bagged vacuum cleaners. I've tried out most, well not most, but an awful lot of bagless and bagged machines and I tend to veer towards going for a bagged cleaner. It's just, for me, it's the most hygienic way of keeping all the dust inside. Okay, well, I think I'll give this a little bit of a test on uh, the carpet and hard floors.
there you go, that's the end of my video on this Karsha VC6 German made bagged vacuum cleaner. If you have any comments or questions about this machine please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.